Hello everybody and welcome to Gardens and Crystals with me Wesley Peterson and today we are in our outdoor terrace garden and I just want to give you a quick overview of how everything is looking because I haven't done um, an overview of this area for a while. I've planted some beautiful plants with flowers and I've got the other greens going on so I just want to give you a quick pan around to let you see what's happening and I've also been out raiding the rack so I also have a couple of plants that I want to show you that I got then as well. So let's go and have a quick look around. Now there's a lot of people online that love ivy, English ivy. I have different types here. I have, as you can see here, beautiful variegated leaves. And down here, another one with another variegation. Green kind of variegation in this one. Different types. I have these ivy growing in my hanging basket pots outside here. Again, plain green and variegated. Big and small varieties. Look at the size of this leaf. That's beautiful. And I have, of course, rocks in between with quartz crystal. And then I have heads, Buddha heads, another beautiful rock with quartz crystal in it here, hiding in there, more beautiful ivy here with variegation. And look at this beautiful rock here with smoky quartz crystal in it. And then another ivy here with variegation and another different shape of the leaf. And then look at the shape of these beautiful variegated ones down here. Wonderful. And another rock here with smoky quartz crystal in it. Another little Buddha figure hiding there. These beautiful ivies down here. And milky quartz hiding underneath there. This beautiful hosta here, variegated hosta, I just absolutely love it. I got three plants and I split them into about 19 separate plants and spread them out along my pots here all the way along here and into other pots and I also took some to Crystal Cottage so out of three pots I got lots of plants and they flushed out with so many um, new leaves and I'll show you on a plant here all these are new leaves look at this green one down here you can see that's a new leaf coming out so they're doing really well and look at these succulents the color is just amazing on these plants here they are doing really well for me at the moment aren't they beautiful they give a really beautiful pop of color underneath the hostas and in between the ivy here I'm just loving the new leaves of my hostas that I split up here and look at these succulent here just gorgeous colours on them and then these ivy with the variegation and look at this little ivy here just looks so beautiful with all those variegations in it and then this different type here absolutely beautiful going along and again look at this suglamen in between the Hosta and the ivy. This is a beautiful little rhododendron plant. Gets beautiful purpley type bluish flowers on it, had loads on it, and it's flushed out with a lot of new leaves, so I'm really happy about that. And look at my ferns here. These I got from out in Crystal Woods, our own woodland area at Crystal Cottage. Planted them in here and they're doing really well with this beautiful pink heather. Beautiful combination together. And 
down below I have a variegated mint plant. Isn't that beautiful? These are cuttings that I got from Bergen in Norway. Took these little cuttings home with me, put them in these pots and they were looking really really sad and now they're just flushing out amazingly and you can see all the new growth down here at the bottom. And you can see this one. At the bottom it kind of shows how the plant was and how it's flushed out and how it looks now. Absolutely beautiful transformation. Now look how this beautiful pot is growing together. This is ivy mixed in with rosemary that I've had to prune back a few times this season because it grows out tall and beautifully but the more I trim it back and the ivy as well the more I trim them all back the more they flush out beautiful and green thicker and lusher and in the same pot above them is a Norway spruce that I also took from Crystal Woods and bought here just to see how it would do and it has worked out really really well it's been here a while now and it has ivy trailing up around and then in front of that I have this beautiful juniper bush very prickly and the Norway spruce is really happy here look at it it's nice and green and lush no problems with that at all it's been in this pot for over a year And they're all very happy to get all these plants. Just want to show a little bit more of this beautiful ivy I've got growing here. Going all the way up and trailing along our wooden trellis that shields us from everyone else. And the ivy is starting to grow up, but it's mostly growing along the trellis edge here, which is really nice. exactly what I want it to do. As well as that, I've trained it up between each of the wooden posts so that it is going to fill out there as well and give us even more coverage. And this is the beautiful white flowering Diplodina we have here. Absolutely stunning. Look at those beautiful white flowers all over it's lovely been flowering for a long time i'm wondering how long it's going to flower for have some deadheading to do on the other side but i'll get down to that at some point just wanted to show how beautiful it is hanging out here in our outdoor terrace garden so lovely and then i have more <laughs> ivy and asparagus fern growing in these pots here. This asparagus fern, which is actually a house plant as well, I found someone had dumped it on a piece of wasteland um, out of its pot and just left it to die. It was very long and straggly and yellow and I saw potential in it. I picked it up, I pruned it right back and it flushed out really long again. And I've recently just pruned it all the way up again so that I could put it in this position and now I'm going to let it flush out again. I left it out all winter last year, all winter, in the frost and everything, and this plant survived. So I'm leaving it outside as a hanging basket plant because when you bring it indoors, it grows really well as well, but its leaves fall off all the time. Um, I don't mean it gets thin, but I just mean it sheds its leaves and gets new leaves quite often and new stems, and they just go everywhere because they're so small. So it's much easier to keep it outside. So I'm really happy with that here. It's doing really well and it looks wonderful. So I'm glad that I can keep this plant as well somewhere where it's just not going to mess everything up all the time. <laughs> And while I'm out here, I just want to show you a couple of plants that I bought while I was out raiding the rack for garden plants. Now, certain plants at this time of year in October are on sale 
for bargain prices. These are two absolutely beautiful Ilax Mesaveye blueprints. They are called Blueprints Holly. And I'm really looking forward to getting these planted out in the garden at Crystal Cottage where they will flush out next year and be absolutely beautiful and turn into some really big nice bushes. Look at those beautiful leaves. Now yes, there aren't many leaves on them at the moment. They have gone back a little bit but that's also why this plant is on sale. But that's perfect for me. You know that's what I like. Now these two plants were reduced in price from 475 Swedish krona a piece to 50 kronas a piece. So of course I got myself a bargain, two beautiful plants that are going to become two fantastic big bushes in the garden. They get lovely red berries all over. They get these lovely blue sheen green leaves when they flush out and I'm really looking forward to that. So I am so glad I was out there at the right time to get myself another bargain for the garden at Crystal Cottage. Raid in the rack at the right time of the year, September, October for garden plants is so well worth it. Don't just look at how the plant looks now. Losing leaves, thin, not much going on. Think about the potential you will have when it comes out next year because nearly all the plants I've ever bought on sale that look like this have flushed out beautifully. Nearly every single one. You can go online while you're in the plant school and look at more information about the plant and look at pictures of how the plant will look when it's flushed out and happy in your garden and see the future potential and see through how the plant looks now and think about that instead. And then when it flushes out, you're going to be so happy that you bought that plant and you'll sit back and think, wow, I paid 50 krona for those plants. And look at the size of them. Look how beautiful they are. I could have paid 475 kronas a piece instead. Ah, oh, so now the sun's come out. And all that's left for me to say is thank you very much once again for watching Gardens and Crystals with me, Wesley Peterson. Please remember to like, subscribe and hit the bell so you know when my next video will be uploaded. And I'll see you in another video very soon. Goodbye.